Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Subaru Forester, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that really easy install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So we're gonna start in the cargo area for this install. Subaru has a pre-wired plug right here on the driver's side paneling. So to get there, we're gonna need to remove our flooring and our mat. Next, we're going to remove this side tray on the driver's side. It's held in by two push pins right here. We're gonna remove it using a trim panel removal tool. And then we'll go ahead and remove that tray. Next, we're gonna remove the rear threshold panel right here. We're just gonna pull up on it to take it off. So now underneath our driver's side paneling right here, we can find our harness. We're just gonna go ahead and remove it from the tape. And now we'll take our harness and we'll go ahead and plug it in. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal and we're gonna ground it right underneath our rear threshold panel. And we're gonna use the provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're gonna power up our trailer wiring by opening up our fuse holder and we're gonna plug in our provided 10 amp fuse. With our wiring plugged in and powered up, let's go ahead and talk about how you can store your four flat harness. You can leave it in your storage tray and pull it out through the weather seal when you're ready to tow, or you can bring it underneath your vehicle and mount it next to your hitch receiver for ease of access. To do that, we have a vent right here on the driver's side. One of the openings is large enough for our four flat harness. Let's go ahead and pull it through. Now we're gonna take our converter box and we're gonna store it behind our driver's side paneling. Now that we're done in our storage area, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Now underneath the vehicle, let's go ahead and show you how to mount that four flat harness. Now if you push it in far enough, it'll be right up underneath this underbody panel on the driver's side. Now there should be enough slack where you can put your fingers through all these openings right here and you should be able to feel it and pull it out. If you aren't able to feel it and grab it out from there, you'll need to remove this push pin right here to pull it down just enough to pull it out. So now we're going to take our four flat harness and we're going to route it behind our bumper bracket all the way to our receiver hitch. Now a lot of people like to leave their wiring dangling or just hanging on the hitch, but that can leave it open for dangling on the ground and being dragged and damaged. So we're going to mount it using a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. So we're just going to line it up right here next to our hitch receiver. And then we're going to use a 3 16 drill bit to drill our first hole. Then we'll bring our first screw into place and we'll secure it with the provided nut. Then we'll make sure it's nice and squared and then we'll repeat on the second hole. and then we'll secure it using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna place our dust cover onto our four flat harness, and then we're gonna bring it through our bracket. All 
All right, guys, with our wiring powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this installation, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.